Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. So I do get a lot of comments with people saying I have saved them a lot of money, and I do get questions, hey, can I send you some money somehow? And now there is a way, if you so choose, called the Fan Funding. You'll find it on the channel page right there. Looking at a 2008 Kia Spectra rear disc brakes, rear brake pad replacement here. Got a rolled rotor held on by one Phillips screw. You may or may not need a special tool to get that off. Sometimes they can really rust in place. Otherwise, a 14 millimeter wrench, 14 millimeter wrench. Here's some of the tools Phillips, Phillips, 14 millimeter wrench, screwdriver, 20 millimeter. 21 millimeter socket because we'll need to take the tire off of course this one had four 21 millimeter lug nuts everything is left to loosen right to tighten break the lug nuts loose while the vehicle is on the ground and then once you've turned it a turn or two you can certainly jack up the vehicle as needed and protect yourself with blocks of wood safety stands whatever you need to protect yourself then you'll see this what I see and you just take your wrench put on your 14 millimeter bolt and uh, turn again everything's left to loosen right to tighten Use our screwdriver and pry off the caliper. On this, uh, make sure that your emergency brake is off. I haven't mentioned that before, but make sure it's off because it's going to affect taking this stuff off. Here's our caliper. We'll probably clean this up a little bit with some brake clean. You'll need a special tool, or I've actually used a uh, needle nose pliers and push that. You'll need to push. You push this in while turning clockwise at the same time. Push and turn at the same time. Hopefully, it'll turn freely for you. I'll show you the special tool in a second. So then we're going to take the caliper apart right here two 14 millimeter bolts you can see it's shiny on the squealer so it's probably rubbing on the squealer once in a while so they get their money's worth out of them. Make sure your caliper slides are free right here. They are, which is good. Probably add a little lubricant on them anyway. Got some metal inserts here. Just going to clean these off with uh, maybe a wire brush of some kind or emery cloth, sandpaper or something, a little bit. 
clean them up. I'm still going to add some lubricant brake, brake caliber lube. There seems to be like a rust buildup or corrosion. Certainly can uh, clean these off again. Emery cloth, sandpaper of something. We'll just add a little lubricant so they keep sliding freely. You can maybe have someone actually, before you take this all apart, maybe have someone step on the brake so you can try and turn this off. Perhaps I'll post a link on removing Phillips screws from stubborn drums and rotors such as this. But this one came off. Get your rotor machined or replace it to make it smooth again. Here is a special tool for collapsing rear brake calipers that have the emergency brake built into it. So we'll be using this to collapse it. We'll just get the little fingers in the little grooves in the caliper. Turn this to collapse it in, and then we'll turn this to turn the uh, piston itself. If the boots boot starts twisting on here, you do want to uh, free that up. You don't want it twisting and tearing. Usually use a little brake clean on here anyway. Forgot to do that. Clean that up a little bit. Maybe help get in there and maybe make things slide a little easier. stops. Basically ready to install. Sometimes there will be fingers or knobs of some kind on the brake pad, so sometimes you want to line up these little notches, but I think these brake pads do not have any type of knob that we have to worry about ready to install. So we're going with a new rotor on this vehicle. Caliper with the new lube added onto it and clean up those uh, spots a little bit with a wire brush.
Just slide these back in place. These caliper slides do have a 17 millimeter hex on the end here. Although once the bolts are tight, you really can't, uh, actually I can't get my wrench on there. So get this bottom one started here. caliper bolts here these ones here are about 20 some foot pounds the other ones I didn't find a spec on but probably close to the same they're the same size bolt so probably 20 to 30 you'll be fine and uh, lug nut I think is 65 to 80 foot pounds so it's a little bit of a range so let's tighten them up put the wheel on tighten them like this in a crossing pattern don't go in a circle you should be fine and then uh, pump your brakes a few times and we'll check the master cylinder level So here's the brake master cylinder. It does have a minimum and a maximum on the side there. It looks to be right in the right spot right now, although I have not stepped on the brakes. You turn it, take the cap off, and check your fluid. If it's really full before you start this, you may need to take a little bit out because when you press on the calipers to push the pistons back in, the fluid will come up a little ways. But we're all right here, right back to the max line. So again, Pump your brakes a few times to set the brakes and make sure you have a good pedal before you let anyone drive it. Then double check your fluid level here and top it off or remove a little bit as necessary. Maybe absorb some with a little clean rag or a turkey baster or something. And go for a little drive. Otherwise you are done with your rear brake pad replacement on your 2008 Kia Spectra. I'm sure this will work for other Kias as well and other model years.